was in Beijing when the crackdown occurred. Watched it happen. Pretended to be a tourist, a lost tourist, and watched old ladies get thrown into buses. I didn't know what I was seeing. I found it very disturbing. It's this huge population, extremely vulnerable. Family didn't know where they were. Jailers didn't know who they were. And they became this just vast uh, sea of uh, expendable humanity. The year was 2005. A patient of mine came to me one day and told me, Doc, I have to tell you that I was scheduled to undergo heart transplantation on a specific date. And I looked at him and I said, how can they schedule a heart transplant ahead of time two weeks? I was in the labor camp, the town of labor camp in Beijing for three years. Every three months, we got a blood test. An eye test, and a kidney test, and everything. No one in the mainstream press that have offices inside China are covering it inside China. And they're missing the story of what is one of the most catastrophic human rights violations in our time. After I left China, and my perspective totally changed, then I thought, oh my God, I committed a crime. 